festival to and house the Hall of Fame. And from there, I got Robert Noah Calvert's uh, information of who he thought. He had spent years and years in the profession. He started Massage Magazine. And so I decided to uh, use his listing of the top 100 or so uh, massage therapists and add to it as I came into contact with people uh, through the profession. So the Hall of Fame was born in uh, 2006. This is our fifth year. We're going to be in Berea, Kentucky. Um, it's uh, from the 17th through the 20th of uh, June. It's going to be a lot of fun. It doesn't cost the massage therapist much money. Uh, they have everything in one price. Their uh, housing, their lo uh, food, and their education in one price. We're the only convention that does that, by the way. Um, I'm hoping that it catches on and prices will lower, uh, get lower for therapists everywhere. What on um, your first year of doing that? Um, what do you think was the highlight of it? What what really sparked you? I mean, how long did it take to really prepare for it? Well, we were only given two months. Um, That's it? <laughs> two months. Um, so I made phone calls, tried to find people um, that I could get there quickly that, that could be in the Hall of Fame. So I rented the uh, local fairgrounds, a uh, big, big area, a big room. And we put up pipe and drape down through there. And we, what we did was invited local massage therapists around that area at that time to come in and showcase their ability. So we were trying to show everybody there was more to massage than just one modality Swedish massage, which is what most people in that area knew. I gave away free tickets. Every person, the first 100 people through the door got free massage that they could get at Pensacola Massage Center, which I owned at the time. Um, so people came in. It was, it was a very much success. Uh, Bonnie Pruden was the very first uh, person ever inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, Auntie Margaret Machado, who we're going to be uh, honoring, doing a tribute to. By the way, we did get a mint copy of the Massage Magazine uh, edition, first anniversary with Auntie on the magazine. That'll be there at the Hall of Fame this year. There's a lot of stuff going to be there in tribute to her. Uh, part of the closing ceremony be, will be in tribute to her. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun for a lot of people. Um, we had two months. We got it up and gone. We got uh, 12 people in. We, we were and are to this point inducting six men and six women. But as of next year, 2011, which will be in Colowee, North Carolina, at Western Carolina University, at that time, we're going to start inducting 24, 12 men and 12 women into the Hall of Fame. And do you have those um, 12 men and 12 women um, chosen already then for next year? Yes. Okay. They're chosen. They're two years out. The people that are being chosen now are that will be announced in June are actually going to be inducted in 2012. You have to stay ahead of the time. You have to allow those people to adjust their schedules so that they can be there to give them the opportunity and usually with two years out that gives them enough time that they can organize to be there and accept the honor themselves okay and um, would you say the population has doubled or tripled each year each time you have the festival then I mean the number of attendees. Yeah, yeah, number of attendees. That's, that's yeah. about right. It's yeah. about doubled every time. This year it's looking like it's going to be a little less we're expecting about 500 to 600 this year, so it's a little less than double this year. But mm. next year, I can see us hitting 1,500 to 2,000 therapists. We can house 9,500 therapists at Western Carolina University, and we can. Uh, the rooms are huge. We have plenty of rooms. It's going to be humongous. We have a research conference that's going to take place where uh, we're going to have poster presentations, oral presentations of all sorts of research, energy research on Reiki, on all sorts of things are coming in people are asking to present. So it's going to be a week-long festival next year. It's really turning into the festival that we want. And um, is it going to be a pretty comparable price then this year compared to next year then? It really is. Mm -hmm. This year to get in right now, if you're getting in right now, getting your lodging and everything else, it's $492. If you are attending the World Massage Festival this year in Berea, at the festival, if you're attending and you're at the festival, you can pay 
$440. That's $52 less than you're paying this year as a special if you come to the festival this year and buy your 2011 place. It's $440. Nobody in the country can come close to that. Yeah, especially for a room and board. I mean, it's dirt Everything. cheap. Yep. <laughs> Everything. And, and the buffet next year, as nice as it's going to be in Maria this year, the buffet next year is about 10 times as big. So the selection is just so much more. I mean, this campus at Western Carolina is huge. The uh, arena the, where we're housing the uh, vendors this year, we can hold uh, 98, I think it is. Next year, we will have 350 vendors. Our seating arrangement this year is 2,000 that we can seat. Next year at Western Carolina University, we will be able to seat 12,000 people in the arena. Wow. <laughs> so um, how many vendors was it again that are going to be there this year at the Kentucky this one? This year, we're looking at about 98. 90, okay. And that's that's a lot compared to most, would you say? Oh, it's huge compared to most. Uh, yeah. mo some of the um, state conventions I go to, there's, there's from anywhere from six to maybe ten, fifteen people that are there. So it, it's it's a lot larger um, vending, a lot more selection, um, and, and and the big names are coming this year. It's going to be a huge success this year. Can you tell me some of the um, workshops that are going to be going on then? Some of the, the, oh. one, the, the yeah, or you got a probably a huge list. This is how I organize every year. And it starts every year from scratch. We start with absolutely nothing every year. And every year it just takes off, it grows. I want to mention Sanctuary, looking for volunteers for Sanctuary this year. Uh, it's going to be huge. We're, we're looking for about 70 uh, volunteers that we need for this year for, for it. So that's a huge, oh uh, goodness. And, and next week, uh, um, Angie Patrick's going to be on blog t this my blog TV show to talk about the sanctuary and also the massage school makeover. She is fantastic. Yeah. I wanted to talk about that massage makeover school thing. That is a great idea. That's really going to help out. A, a lucky school there with all they're going to get that's going to really help that school for a long time okay some of the classes first of all they can come in not know anything about Esalen they can take beginning intermediate and advanced Esalen in that weekend up in Bria you can get Bender Webb's massage which is Pat Donahue she's just created a brand new DVD for this Bender Webb's massages she's doing the same thing that the lady that we're honoring for keeping Reiki alive, well, she's doing the same thing with Benjamin Webb's massage. So that's going to be a great DVD. She'll be at the uh, right beside Vivian Mess Mahoney there in the vending hall. We're going to have the Hall of Fame along the walls with the Hall of Fame uh, timeline right along behind it. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. Uh, we have facelifting and drainage technique. We have the Bowen technique, Brema hydration and its effects on the body system. Uh, Nayada method, self care for body workers, marketing with a social media, uh, Lomi Lomi, which is Gloria's class, uh, Gloria Coppola. We have breathing, stretching, and yoga classes. Those are free classes that are going to be given by uh, Hall of Famer Linda Sudevi. Um, We have geriatric massage from Susan uh, Sharon uh, Puzco. And the we nice, have, uh, well, the nice, nice thing about geriatric, there's not a lot of information out there, so people need to get more familiar, especially with all the baby boomers coming up and. <laughs> getting older and older. Yep. She's <laughs> young massage therapist. She did them well to learn the uh, geriatric massage. Help a lot. You got Sacra out. Sacrology, which was uh, by Sacrology, uh, she's created her own uh, modality using the the uh, device that her father created. Brand, just the technology, and she's kept it in the family. That's what's so neat about it. And I really admire what she's done. 
You got cold stone therapy for migraine headaches. You got why your work shouldn't hurt as a massage therapist. You have a uh, foot massage, the chakras, Balinese massage by Jammu. Um, just great, different things that, you know, not all the same thing. People can finally make choices and they can go to these classes. This is what I call fast track classes because you get to determine if you like the instructor, if you like the class, if you want to sit through it. Is, or is it as interesting as you thought it would be? You get all this and nobody else is offering anything like this at conventions. Yeah, you can go to individual um, meetings and get some of this here and there spotty, but you don't get anything like this as a choice. And this is all day Friday that these classes are going to be going on. Yep. Uh, you got insurance billing with Madison Mahoney. You have uh, Beneath the Navel. You have Abdominal Chi Massage, Integrating Spa Massage, Medical Massage, Body Memory. Uh, you have the Excellence Equation, Core Somatic Functions. I think that's by uh, Rick Rosen. Um, you have mastectomy massage. A lot of people are getting into mastectomy massage and would like to have a class on it to see if that's something they want to expand in. Uh, you have United the Chair and Table Massage. I think that one's being given by Paul Lewis, who uh, is Sydney's friend there. He's going to be coming down and uh, teaching that class. You have Structural Integration. You have, uh, you have Working in Spas. A lot of people, a lot of therapists have been asking questions about working in spas, and they'll be able to do that. You have uh, pe Pelvic Stabilization. You have Thai Yoga Body Work. Uh, you have whiplash syndrome, which is with uh, Judith Delaney. Uh, you have marketing. You have uh, touch therapy for little kids working with children, which uh, uh, Tina Allen is going to be there. And she's bringing her uh, smart car, her little car. I don't know if you've seen it yet. Yep. Or not. It's real little. It, is she bringing the tour bus, so, too, then? Is she I think she'll probably. Okay. Uh, she did it in Texas. I, she okay. probably will again. Okay. Um, then we have uh, reflexology. We have slipstream with Eva Valla. Uh, that's the plastic cupping that they use. That is, man, that stuff is great. That will bring blood to the surface. Trust me. <laughs> uh, you got Tuni Workshop. Uh, you have Ashiatsu with uh, Ruthie Piper Hardy. She'll be in the vending hall and she'll be giving the class. Um, you have knee conditions. Lower extremity conditions, elbow, wrist, all that with James Wozlowski. You have ethics with uh, Laura Allen. Um, you have touch therapy for common childhood elements. You have the uh, human factor and body work, which is an advanced form of Esalen. It just. <laughs> okay, take, oh, take a deep breath. <laughs> and that's just what we know about right now. If people come in and we can get other classes in, I don't really know where. Like I said, even now, we're finding it hard to... There's no way you can do everything. And that's what I like. You'll be able to cherry pick what you want to do. And that's one good thing. A lot of these states don't charge but about like six units that you have to have in continuing education. So there's no need to take all those classes. They'll be around next year and the next year and the next year. Have fun at the festival. Yep. <laughs> and that's just the classes. Yep. I mean, we have every day there's something going on. Thursday's the bluegrass jam, then everybody's going to go over to the country club. Then on Friday, you got everybody coming in for uh, um, Lanny Moody, the comedian out of Atlanta. George will be giving his show. Then the symposium, the vending hall will be open the whole time during that's going on. Then the um, Kevin Snedden from the uh, Federation of Massage Therapy Boards is going to be doing the Celtic Fire Dance after the symposium. Then on uh, Saturday at one o'clock, you have you have to wear your massage. Have you had your Massage Today T-shirt? And at one o'clock, you're going to get five hundred dollars away there. At six thirty, the uh, Hall of Fame ceremony will start organizing. Seven o'clock, it kicks off. You'll have at that you'll have um, the mu musician Stephen Halpern will be playing uh, his piano music and everything during the ceremony. You'll have the uh, didgeridoo, didgeridoo um, horn playing during the ceremony. All the people will be coming up. There's about a hundred people who'll be honored that night, 
After that, you have the reception where there'll be about $10,000 worth of food eat. Then we go, uh, Massage Warehouse has a special event plan that's a surprise for everybody after that in the upper gym. And then on Sunday, you have your closing ceremony with um, Jenny Ray, Hall of Famer Jenny Ray, doing the Indian uh, American Native smudge ceremony, which will take place on Sunday. And what kind of um, vendors will be there? Wow. <laughs> you got another book for that, don't you? <laughs> well, they are in the same book. Uh, it's a book. Um, Every year, and vendors, that's another great thing, the vendors every year have grown and grown. Um, and and the, they're really nice people. They're all donating prizes. Our, our number one vendor our, who's sponsoring the vendor hall this year is uh, Massage Today. They're the exhibitor sponsor. They're the big sponsor. Um, then we have Massage Envy, uh, Massage Warehouse, Massage Promotions, uh, Ace Massage Cupping, Massage Publications, uh, Earth Angel Oils, Daybake Geriatric, ABMP, Hands on Trade, BioFreeze, ABMP, um, Sacro Wedgie, um, it just goes on and on. You name one, Oakworks is uh, sponsoring Paul Lewis as well as going to have their own uh, table there, or, or, or Oakworks. Um, Lilyfoot, Pearson, uh, AMTA Kentucky is going to be there and have a big booth. You're going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Massage Therapy Radio. Um, about everybody, Massage Magazine's even coming. They're going to be there. Um, everybody's going to be there that I can think of that needs to be there. NCB is the only one I, I can't think of that ain't going to be able to make it this year. And uh, let's see who else. They did send a door prize, though, um, NCB did, a real nice suitcase that, that some therapists is, whoa, really nice, and they'll love that. Let's see, what, who else? I can't remember them all. But there's so <laughs> many vendors. They can go, people just go to worldmassagefestival.com, and it's all right there. You, you can see it all. And is there a lot of free giveaways a lot with all these all these vendors? And <laughs> <laughs> Last year... Last year, we gave away $32,000 worth of free door prizes. We can't do, like, like, like most conventions you go to, they do the um, raffles. Well, we're for profit, so we can't do raffles. So what we do is we get door prizes for everybody, and we just give them away. We number them all. We give everybody that comes through that registers this ticket. And they hold on their ticket, and then they go buy the door prizes at some time during the day, and they see if their number's been drawn. If their number's been drawn, they go up and they they show the they take the ticket off of it, and they show their ticket, and they give it to the person, and then they reach in and they choose a number, and that number they choose is the number that determines which prize they win. That way, it can't be. There's no way to fix it. They choose their own when they reach in and choose the number. So are vendors allowed to get them to then? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All vendor, every okay. Person that okay. And we don't treat vendors like they're different. A lot of people don't. We give the vendors everything that a therapist gets. They get the, the same lodging uh, 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 opportunities, the same eating. The, uh, they get bags uh, with all the door, uh, samples, the literature, uh, attendee bags. They get those just like uh, uh, therapists do. We don't treat anybody any different. Teachers, everybody gets everything. Well, that's awesome. So everybody's the same, basically. <laughs> and that's that, right. Like, there's only one price. Yeah. We don't we don't charge. Uh, I mean, even our vendor and our therapist prices are right there together. Um, we don't charge. You know, you got to be this member. You got to be that member. You got to pay this fee or whatever. We have one price for everybody. Oh, great. And are you going to still keep up with that next year then too? Try to... Yeah, it looks like yeah. it's just right on schedule with this. There may be a little knock up next year because there's going to be so much more. I can't... I mean, this year there's a lot. But next year is, is just... 
I can't. You'll see it develop in the next year. You'll see what happens. But with 1,500 people coming and the variety, and now you're adding energy, and now you're adding the research conference, and we're also teaching teachers how to teach uh, research. First of all, we're going to teach teachers. Ruth Werner is coming, and she's going to be teaching teachers how to understand research so that they can intend then teach the students because if the teachers don't understand it they aren't going to be able to teach the students so first you got to teach the teachers so it's teaching research literacy is what uh, uh, Ruth is going to be teaching there and so after she teaches that then they'll be going to a class where Carrie Smith who's Rick Rosen's wife she just got uh, made 2009 uh, Teacher of the Year from AMTA, so she's going to be coming and she's going to teach teachers how to teach massage, how to how to be a massage teacher. Because I keep hearing everybody say that well, teachers don't know how to teach. They're taking them three years out of school and and, and make them into teachers, and they don't know how. But I don't see that many classes being taught on how to be a teacher. You know, you got individual classes, but you don't have how to be a teacher. So. We're going to have how to be a teacher next year, and hopefully we're going to get people with anywhere from, I, I'm not saying any limits that they have to be three, three years because I don't know what their state requirements are. So I'm not going to set any requirements. I don't care if you're right out of school. You may want to learn the aspects of teaching right out of school. That's, that's up to you, how you, whatever education, whatever method you want to go down, whatever road. So I'm not setting any requirements that they have to have so many years or anything like that. They're just going to be classes that they can go to and learn how to be a teacher. Yeah, because I remember the first first time I taught, I was definitely scared the whole 12 weeks. But I kept saying I wanted to quit all the time, but um, I kept thinking of my dad because my dad, he just retired from teaching fifth grade four years ago. And I just didn't want to make make him look bad or anything else, so I just kept going. And it's been over nine years, and I can't imagine doing anything else. I mean, I just love teaching. And there's so many states, uh, I mean, there are some states now that require you to have so much training before you even teach massage. So I think that's a huge benefit, too, because all I got was a book and a syllabus and here teach. So <laughs> but because of you, there are a lot of therapists out there now that are carrying on the profession. I mean, even with what you were, how you were, you still helped us to progress to where we are now. Yeah. And... You know, so let's make the ones that are coming up behind us as good as they can be, so it'll just get better and better. Yeah, and and what other people are going to be teaching at next year's? Do do you have a list yet at all? Or are you still working on getting people lined up for? I have uh, it, but I don't have it in 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 this room. I have that all working in. I work two years ahead, so I use rooms and I. <laughs> <laughs> lay everything out so I can tell what's going to happen down the road. I'm working right now actually on the 2013 Hall of Fame and instructors, and I'll be. I have to look at the teachers this year, the two-hour teachers, all the instructors. I have to look and see what people had to say about them and how they like them because I want to work them into the program as well. There's a lot of uh, people that deserve a chance to teach out there, and we're getting a lot of people asking to teach. They're filling out. The instructor form uh, on the front page, and uh, I, I want to give everybody a chance. Yeah, because at the at the festival, I mean, my wife she's going to be in in the booth, so she'll be shooting free commercials for everybody. But then I'm going to be going around to everybody else and shooting stuff. So I'm just going to have yeah. that thing going on continuously. <laughs> and I bought tons. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be a busy man. Yeah. <laughs> We need coverage of so many things, and, and I can see you know hundreds of videos out there working, and and and, and people's. I think it's going to help a lot. I think it may change the way conventions are done from here on. Uh, and then the live feed. Now, are we going to do uh, uh, this here? Are we going to do this on Wednesday night there? Um, are you when, when are you coming in? Um, I'm going to try to do come in Wednesday, but what I'll do is I'll just keep up the blog TV thing the whole time. So the whole whole time I'm there, we'll just keep that going the whole time then. So people so can yeah. get pictures of me on, on Wednesday decorating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yep. You know? <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, but that's the way people can communicate with everybody too. So that's what's nice about it. So I'll just we'll just leave an open computer with the blog TV um, going on at all times, so people can see them um, at the festival. Then so. Hey, you know, we can take people as they enter and say talk for five minutes. Yep, talk exactly. <laughs> Little introductions with everybody. Because, because sure. honestly, I, I I myself I've never been to a conference before. It seems kind of weird, but for 13 years now I've been a massage therapist, and I'm getting a little bit nervous. Never, what? what? Never been to a convention yet? Nope, not a massage one. Nope. Your, your first one's going to be the World Massage Festival. Yep. So you better break me in the right way. <laughs> well, it's different. We're we're very different. We don't. Uh, you don't see suits and ties. We don't like suits and ties. Uh -huh. Cindy goes around with a pair of scissors. She will cut your tie. <laughs> don't wear a tie. We're very casual. Uh, even at the Hall of Fame, everybody dresses very casual. It's a very casual thing. We have a hard time keeping Sydney out of a tie now. But uh, hopefully now he's at Massage Today, he'll relax a little bit and enjoy himself. He's a tie man? <laughs> Yeah, he wears a suit and everything. I mean, he's, oh. he's got it going on. He's tight. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, yeah, I, I I wish I had this opportunity. I mean, my students for the AMTA National Convention, they're going to be helping out in the sanctuary. So I right. mean, they're 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 out, they're excited, but they don't really understand how big this is. So That'd be great. Yeah. For first uh, start for kids still in school to be able to uh, uh, work with AMTA there at Sanctuary at a national convention that is fantastic exposure. You know, because again, I've never never been to one, so I'm just I just hope they really appreciate how how big it's going to be for them and and they get to see the whole trade show and everything else. But that's why you need to eventually bring your your stuff up to Minnesota area and. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to move it around. That's a fact. It's hard to be the World Massage Festival if you stay in one place too long. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I want to get to Amsterdam. That's one of my goals is to get it to Amsterdam eventually. Or you can actually have two um, two World Festivals every year kind of thing. So one in one in the States and one somewhere else then. So. Don't tell Cindy that, please. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it takes, it really does, it takes a whole year to prepare, to get everything to fall into place exactly where you need it when there's just basically two people doing the work. It, it, it really does, it's a lot of work, a lot of organizing, back and forth checking, um, but it's worth every minute of it. it. It's a great, great opportunity for a lot of people to have fun. We love doing it. And at the festival next year, are you going to have other basic classes too then? So just not research or instructor-based classes, you're going to have other things too then, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. We, okay. we have a complete lineup of teachers every year. That's, that's the core. We will always have 10 to 20 teachers that will uh, be 8 to 16-hour instructors that will teach on Saturdays and Sunday. We continue to grow forward in the week more and more. Now next year the festival will start like on Tuesday I think it is. All the information's uh, there at the festival page under 2011. It's growing as it's developing but it, it's got a pretty solid base now. I think it's on Tuesday it starts so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday maybe or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The first four to miss them at the same time so I'm having it first to have the research and teachers get that aspect out of the way basically and then on that crossover day they can then go into and continue with the festival and it will have been a week long for them they will be they will get so much knowledge I think they can get up to 40 40 credits that week if they go all week long well they'll be able to survive that though <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> I don't know how many people will actually do it uh -huh. I know some next year, like, uh, there there's, there was an award I created when I first created the festival. It's called the Loyalty Award. And after you've come to the festival four consecutive years, your fifth year is free. Now, I think there's five or six of them that have won that and will be awarded that on stage this year in Berea. And...
So they don't have to pay for that. So those six may automatically jump in on the other part of the conference if they have aspirations of becoming teachers someday. They can get that then they're paying for like they're getting a festival free so they can go ahead and go over here and get the research and pay for it and decide to take that and have the whole thing the whole week for just what it would have cost them for the festival. Okay, that's awesome. And um, what is what would you think your biggest highlight is of all these festivals so far? <laughs> <laughs> just pick a couple, okay? <laughs> well, um, Bonnie Pruden speaking, um, I'd say, um, I don't know, Darcy went in the table. That was kind of neat. Um, I don't know. J James was lost. Me. Just, to, just being associated with him. He is uh, he's a force. He is something else. Um, those are all highlights. Uh, the Pioneers... I don't know, seeing the same people every year. Okay. It's nice. It's real nice. And um, compared to the first year, compared to nowadays so with the festival, what do you think changed the most? Or hasn't changed? <laughs> well, um, we're finally getting recognition. Um, I know there was a resistance at first to us. Um, and what we were trying to do, and I can understand that, but uh, I think now there, there's uh, more of an openness to uh, the idea. I know the uh, therapists are, are loving it more and more and coming back year after year. That was the other part of the loyalty award. If you've, after you've gone that, got that fifth year free, you come uh, three more years, you get your seventh, eighth, and ninth year, you come, or um, your sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth, so you go four more years. And as you get to your 10th year, you never have to pay for your education again at the festival. Now, nobody does that. There's no association. There's no convention. There's no anything in the massage industry that allows you to, in 10 years, get one free, and then on your 10th year, you never have to pay for that service again. Cool. Nobody else does that. And... Um with when they take the workshops there, is, does it take a while for them to get the certificates for the classes they've taken, or do they get them right on the spot then, or how does that work? The, the teachers give the uh, attendees their certificate on the completion of their class. Okay, so right then and there, right after they're done, usually it's a, okay. Okay. It's a way to do business that you do it right then. You have proof in your hand that you took the class. So if you're ever challenged. You know, you have proof. You have written proof with a teacher's signature right there. All these teachers are NCB approved teachers. Um, I don't know of anybody who's been refused credit yet for any of the classes ever at a World Massage Festival. Cool. And um, so next year, and what you said, was it North Carolina, you said? Or yeah, it's going to yeah. be at Western. Okay. Carolina University, which is in Cullowhee, North Carolina. Now, that's okay. about an hour south of Asheville, North Carolina, in the mountains, kind of hill country, between uh, Asheville and Atlanta. We're about an hour outside Asheville and about two and a half hours outside of Atlanta. So we're expecting a lot of people out of Georgia. And isn't, isn't Atlanta, Georgia kind of like a hub in a way, too? I mean, there's... It is. Uh, Nixon actually declared Atlanta, Georgia, one of the uh, capitals of one of the six regions when he went to regionalism, and he uh, made Atlanta a hub. So they're a hub for a lot of things, uh, a lot of uh, mail, the mail systems, ups, and all those folks. So it is a big hub. Uh, I like the Kentucky location because one advantage we have this year is that two-thirds of the entire population of the United States resides within eight-hour drive of Berea, Kentucky. 
Cool. And what what is the closest airport then? Would you have you researched that stuff too? Lexington. Okay. Lexington. Okay. And how far away is that then from the? That's that's forty miles. Okay. So that ain't bad then. Not bad at all. We also have a share a ride program set up at WorldMassageFestival.com that they can click on and write when they're arriving. And there's some of them that are sharing the price of a car. Some of them are just uh, sharing the price of taxis. The, they're getting organized on coming in. We may even have a possibility that a guy's going to run a shuttle for us a few times. I know uh, Britta Ostrom, we're going to be picking her up and bringing her over. She's coming in from Esalen out of California. And we, we'll get you to the event. That there's no problem there. Next year is going to be a little bit of a challenge. We may form a shuttle service out of Asheville. Okay. And for the classes, I know people when they sign up on the website, um, th they can choose their classes then. But is can they change them when they actually get there then? You do, you can change your class up to a certain day, like this year. If you are already in the system right now to register it, all you do is go in, type in your password, and you can change your schedule up to June first. That's it. Okay. That's the last day. As of then, we will set classes, who's going to be in which classrooms. Everything will be set, so we can't be changing them around. I mean, people have had a year yeah. <laughs> to determine three days of classes. So June 1st is the cutoff date. She's not going to take any. The registrar has laid it down. ain't going to happen. No changes after June 1st. That's it. So uh, there will be a sign right at registration. Don't ask. <laughs> She's pretty serious about not changing classes after June first, and that's the way it should be. I mean, you have you have a lot of programming you have to do, so you have to have some at some point you have to set the ground and it be solid, so the event then doesn't have problems happening during the event. Otherwise, if you're wishy washy and you don't have these things set, it it won't work. Yeah, so true. So that so again, just a word of advice for everybody: just make sure before June first, make sure you get your schedule down and. <laughs> <laughs> and our yep, and I know the um, the rooms where people are staying. Um, it's uh, two people are staying in a room. Do you get to kind of choose if you want who you want to um, have the if, room with? If and you sign up and you put it on your form who you'd like to be in your room. Yes, we can do that. If you don't put it on there, then we're going to put somebody in there with you. Um, the rooms are twin size beds. You need to bring your own sheets and linen. I know you're already bringing them for your table, but and you can use the same ones that you know. I don't. Yep. Have to <laughs> don't have to do the math. Figure out how you do your sheets. Yep. But anyway, uh, your towels, your pillows, you need to bring the, your linen with you. A blanket. I don't know if you need a blanket in June, but anyway, um, it's gonna be nice, real pretty setting. Uh, we have access to the swimming pool all day, the weight room, uh, all you can eat, food. Uh, there'll be a concession stand area in the vending area. Um, it'll have tons of food. Um, students, we have 150 students coming in from Lexington and Louisville, and we even had some today come in from Georgia that are signing up to come up uh, for one day. They're going to come up for one day <laughs> on Friday, and they have a good time. Uh, BioFreeze is going to give them a free lunch, and it, it's going to be really good for the students. A lot of students will gain a lot of. Uh, I wish you could get your bus and get all your kids on your bus. And come on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and get this experience. Their first one be the World Massage Festival too. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, it's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, something going on every minute. So you, you're not gonna be able to get to everything. Um, I'll try to assign other photographers to cover those things. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but we'll get we'll get it covered. The CDs we already have people ordering the timeline CDs and wanting their commercial to be fitted into the CD. So I don't know how we're going to work all that out. But uh, it's going to be fun. A lot of yeah. a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, it will not be boring. I know that. <laughs> There's no downtime, and, and and the thing is, is people have fun because there's no, nobody has to have a presence. You understand? They they don't have to. They're not an official. They're not a vice president or a president or anything like that. They're just a person, a therapist, just there to have fun, 
and they do. They uh, uh, next year you got fly fishing, you got hiking trails, you have water falls this year. Uh, hike, a lot of hiking trails around the college. Um, there's stairs if you want to run stairs. You got the oval track at the very top of the event if you just want to jog the whole time. Uh, the swimming. Um, the outside track, oh, we have the whole campus, so we'll be able to do anything we want. The old town, the shopping, uh, we haven't even talked about the arts and crafts. Berea is the arts and ca uh, crafts capital of Kentucky. It is just the artwork there. Women are going to love going in them shops and going shopping and, and the fudge shops and the glass. I, I enjoy the glass blower. I don't know if you've ever seen a glass blower or not. Yeah, Renaissance festivals, usually I see those at. and. Oh yeah. man, the girl's good. She she know and making marbles and all sorts of things that they can do with glass. Um, and then you get to watch banjos being made from scratch and all sorts of string instruments and it's just neat to watch things being made by hand, hand crafts. And a lot of those shops around the college they house all the crafts that the students are making on campus to pay their way from through college there at Maria because they don't pay tuition to go to Berea. And that's, there's not a lot of colleges out there too like that, is there? There's not a lot. Yeah. There are some. Uh, I can't remember how many there are. I, I read a report not too long ago. They're not the only one that does this, but they're one of the few. They sell their power back to the grid. They have a uh, area called the Echo Village that we'll have to go through to uh, get from uh, the Seabury Arena down to Old Town. There's a back way that we can go right through Echo Village, and you'll be able to see the way they live. They recycle the gray water. They have it set up to where women, instead of putting women on welfare, they will watch the child while the lady goes to school there at Berea, and then she's part of the working system when she graduates instead of being on welfare for the next 20 years. I mean, that college just has so many neat ideas and, and trying to help the people of that area. Um, they don't have to pay a tuition, but it's based on their grades. So they are paying. They did the studying, you know. They just weren't born into a rich family. So they're given an opportunity to make it out there in the world, and, and then a lot of them give back to the school. And um, you still take people's phone calls too, right? So if it, people have questions, they can just call you directly, right? Anybody can call me anytime they want. 336-957-8997. Yeah. Uh, you can call me and talk to me directly. Yeah, We'll actually take orders. We're, we're, we register people on the phone, which I don't know anybody else that does that either. We'll register you. If you can't figure out the paperwork on the uh, sign-up form, on the registration form, you just call us, and we have a live chat now at the top of the page, and you can click. We talk online back and forth like instant message, or you can call us at the phone number, and we'll uh, we'll do the registration for you right there online. Yeah, that's really convenient. <laughs> or you can Skype you too. <laughs> Skype? I yep. mean, there's lots of ways to reach you. Just uh, call or we'll help if we can. Yeah. <laughs> So how many years now has it been that you've done the World Massage Festival? Is this the fifth this year? Is, okay. This is our fifth year. Yeah. This, is, this is number five. That's why I called it the reunion. Um, I'm trying to get as many people to come back as possible. Uh, I'd love to see a bunch of folks that weren't able to make it when they were inducted show up. Uh, we're still hoping Bob King makes it. Uh, hopefully Eric Dalton will make an appearance. Uh, John Barnes. Uh, there's a lot of folks that weren't able to make it whenever they were inducted, and we sure would love to see them at the festival if they'd show up. And how many people um, are coming that are being inducted this year? Do you know? Do you have a, a head count yet? We don't have a sad count. There's still some that are are, are, are holding up. Or we're not sure, uh, like in Bob King's case and uh, some of the others, but it's uh, most of them have, have responded positively. Uh, I know Dr. Jacob Lieberman is not coming over from Hawaii. He did send a nice uh, letter to be read during the ceremony, and I think James is the one introducing him. I'm doing the presentation, the Hall of Fame presentation. Usually it's me, and I have the Hall of Fame at a table, and I introduce them one by one, and I hand them the microphone, and they talk. Well, 
I really don't like that floor map. That's not formal quite enough. I'm I'm not big on formality, but that wasn't quite formal enough. So what I did this year was try to come up with an idea of where it would be more like the Academy Awards. You would have somebody of honor already introduce them, shake their hand, have their picture taken with them, and then that would be the person who brought them into the Hall of Fame and use Hall of Fame people to do this. So what I did was I got uh, JVJ. JVJ is James Wozlowski, Vivian Madison Mahoney, and Judy Calvert, JVJ. And they're going to be the MCs this year. They will actually, it'll start with uh, Paul St. John. He has to give the keynote speech. And he'll be introduced by the lady uh, that, that uh, is promoting him, that sponsored him. Her name's Jane Thomas. And she will introduce Paul. Paul will introduce, and every person will introduce the next person in line. And we're, I don't know how it'll work. It's the first time it's ever been done. I've got it written down on paper. It looks real good. How it's going to end up, I don't know. But we're going to give it a shot. And uh, James will, each, each MC will introduce about six to eight people who will be receiving awards for different things. We have the Charlotte Hooten Award this year that uh, one of our good friends, she passed of cancer, and we've named a, an award after her scholarship. And every year, we will give one massage therapist um, that award. Then we have the Auntie Margaret Humanitarian Award, uh, which is Nina McIntosh will be getting that, that charter award. And then we have, I'm not going to go through all the awards, the Media Award, and on and on and on, because I don't want to give all the names away either. Yeah. At the same time... <laughs> Uh, I'm, doing, I'm doing the presentation here. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of people will finally get recognized, and more and more people every year will get recognized as they should in the industry. Sid, Sid Duncan's on the chat right now. So. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> You meant this was supposed to be y'all show. I just happened in here. Yeah. <laughs> Are we still going to do our show on the 12th? Is it? I think it's Yeah, we can do it before that, too, then. So, yeah. So, yeah. So. I'm still getting all those questions. Yep. Organized. I have to remember what I said here. Yeah. <laughs> but more the better, of course, and stuff. So. Did we yeah. ever give Tony away? No, no. Tony never called in, so. Yep. Woke yep. up Tony. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, what day are you coming to the festival? Then, are you going to come a few days okay. earlier? Yeah. I'll be there on Monday. I'll be going through the box, putting them all in the vending hall where they're supposed to go. At the carpet, the entire vending hall. I have the lady electricity that goes to each one that's supposed to have electricity. I have to lay little feet. Uh, one of the vendors bought the feet. They come right to the vending booth of the person from where you come in. Um, I got to hang. I, there's something like, I think, 176 flags I have to hang. Uh, then I've got the banners. Then the, all the vendors are bringing in all their banners. The place is going to be a zoo. It's going to be really neat. Lots of decorations. Uh, got to organize the registration desk where you're going to pick up your massage. Have you had your massage today shirts? Um, tons and tons of uh, signage and posters and stuff that are going to be up around. I got to get the vendor bags ready, all them stuff. We have uh, a lot of volunteers coming in to help with that. We probably could use some more room monitors. Uh, we definitely need more people at Sanctuary if we can get more in Sanctuary. Get Sydney to start promoting Sanctuary more there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what else can we do? I, I, it's going to be busy. It's going to be a lot going on. Something for everybody. The vendors should do well. The therapists are going to learn a lot. Um, it's going to be a great start into next year. Next year is going to be the year. I can't describe to you how it'll be that times, I'm thinking, three to five times as big as what you're going to see this year, you'll see next year. Three to five times as big. And when can people register for next year then? register right now. Okay. <laughs> it's online. It's online. Oh, it's already online? Okay. Yes. 
Last year we had people registering for this year before last year happened. They, okay. they, they, at Christmas of last year, they signed up to go to the April 09. So they were over a year, almost a year and a half, a year and four months there, uh, signed up for it early. And, and we, we already have actually signed up for 211, 2011. I mean, already and, doing it. I mean, okay, cool. Go ahead. Oh, and then the vendors. I mean, can the average public come in to see the vendors then, or do they have to pay a fee or anything, or how does that the work? Average, the average public is invited to the World Massage Festival. This entire thing was, I was told to bring attention to the public, so I created this thing. I actually have people from the public this year coming to the festival that have paid they're not even massage therapists they're just wanting to take classes and they're wanting to participate and they are, are, are have paid the fees and are coming to classes so yeah the, they can come into the vending area they can come into classes if they're signing up for the general public there is no requirements to come to classes at the festival okay and then Sid said um, if, if he if you let him help him help you out he'll get it six times bigger Okay. <laughs> hey, anybody, anybody see me hear my voice? You can help the World Massage Festival. Come on down. I, mean, <laughs> I, I love shit. Anybody out there? Anybody? Y'all want to help festival? Come on, come on. We're, we're, we're welcome with open arms. We're glad to help, and, and any way we can help you, you let us know. We'll help you at the same time. We'll, that's what we like. We like to help those that help us, so that's what we do. And are all the guests, are all the speakers, um, are they going to be there the whole festival, or are they just coming in for certain days then? Or you mean that you mean the uh, people teaching the teach, teach teaching the workshops? <laughs> yeah. Um, most of them are going to be there the entire time. A lot of them uh, are coming just to experience it. I only know of one or two that are just teaching and leaving. Um, but, but mostly because they have other commitments uh, doing something else. So, but most people will will be there for the entire weekend that you see. But it's going to be so nice you can just schmooze with anybody there. So. <laughs> yeah, these, these are normal folks. That's what I love about uh, most massage therapists. They're just normal folks, and they don't put on airs. And that's why we don't like the the ties and all that because that's putting on airs. Uh, I mean. It's like, I don't know, I, I just don't see the need in it for the airs or the attitudes or anything that I see at a lot of the other uh, events. And you'll see it when you go. It's just a different a different atmosphere at the festivals. Uh, people are there to have fun, and, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> and then um, Sid asks and see if he can get a Massage Today t-shirt. <laughs> Sid wants an, he, 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 Yeah. <laughs> well, he works for him now, so. <laughs> I think he has, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be much of a problem for Sid. He probably got about 500 of them in his closet now. <laughs> <laughs> and he says he sleeps in a tie. <laughs> he needs to throw that tie away and sleep in that massage to and he'll have a better life. Yeah. <laughs> Um, is there anything um, else that you think the average public doesn't know about the whole festival? I still don't believe most of them know about it. I, I get calls every day. I've never heard of you. Um, where did this come from? Uh, they, they just they've never heard of us. And and I mean I've been collecting emails for six years now. We have over a hundred thousand emails that I send people letters to. I guarantee you. The first thing people usually say to me is, yeah, I got your email. <laughs> and I have to laugh and say, yeah, I bet you've got a few of them. I mean, we send a lot of email, and it's it's shocking to hear people say they've never heard of the festival. But again, we didn't really get the mass media attention that we're just now starting to get. So with Massage Today, with uh, Massage Magazine, with you, with uh, Massage Therapy Radio. All this has basically come on board in the last two or three years because you hadn't even heard about it a couple of years ago, had you? No. Yeah, so last right. last year is the first time I ever heard about it. So. 
See? Yeah. And we were down in Florida, but it, nobody knew us. We were just down there in Florida just having, well, they weren't small events. They were, you know, 200, 300, which are about as big as, well, a lot bigger than some state events like AMTA Florida. They only had like 25 people at theirs. So that that's, anyway, two or 300 people is not a bad little convention, but it's, it's it wasn't reaching other states as much as I wanted it to. So I had to get it out of there. At the same time, I had promised Texas I would take it to Texas. So people said, don't go to Texas, don't go to Texas, because they were fighting about the 500-hour, 300-hour aspect. So I went into Texas. When somebody tells me not to do something, that's usually what I'll do. <laughs> so I went in there, and they're going along great. Hey, those two associations now are tight. They're working together. They're saving money together. They save money on, the, uh, on their annual conventions. They didn't have to pay for a venue. I paid for it for them. Same thing with these other aspects. Anybody, any AMTA wants to have their uh, annual event at my event, they're more than welcome to. You know that that way they're not having to pay for. They didn't have to pay for the teachers. They didn't have to pay for the venue. They just had their regular annual meeting. They got to save a lot of money. They can do other things. They can have local commercials. They could whatever they decide to do. So everybody wins, basically. So. <laughs> yeah. I think so. I think people are winning with the World Massage Festival. I think it's helped a lot of people. I know it's going to help a lot more. Um, these kids getting this free education next year, the Loyalty Award, they they, it's paid for. They just come next year. That's all they have to do is just be there, and they get their free year. Uh, they pay four more years, and they never have to pay for education again. You realize how many people out there have already been in the business nine, ten years and would love to get their education paid for for the rest of their life. It's done. All they have to do is show up. And do they get to get the buffet and stuff free then too then, or is it the education that they're getting then? The education. Okay, education. education. For, okay. But yeah, if, I, in general, yeah, that's know. cheap anyway, so. <laughs> right. I mean, that, that's the main cost was the education anyway because of the the housing and the food I keep down to minimal cost like this year you you get four nights for eighty dollars that's twenty dollars a night you can't beat that yeah. so it, then your food I, I think it's uh, twenty eight dollars a day I think for all three meals I mean you don't have to go anywhere it's right there for you it's hot you can eat as much as you want um, I don't know how they can beat the beat the world massage festival deals that they just I'm not in it for profit. I'm in it for to try to to build a nice convention for therapists that they can go to that doesn't cost them a fortune to do it. 